Hi there, Scott from Wessex Plays. I just finished one knife off for a Robert Watson. Um, here it is. Um, this was the blank, and uh, it was gifted to me by Dell Red Path Knife and Tools. So I was a complete the knife myself. Um, but it's, it's nice because it's got a bit of character from Big Dell. Um, um, Robert put a deposit on this, um, and he decided to go for. Um, he wanted an Odin sign on it. So I turned a little car in for him with a dangler. So there's a sweet setup on the back there. And I've gone for an inch and a quarter on the back. I, I mean, looking at the way the line of the hand on it comes in, um, I've gone for an inch and a quarter over an inch. Um, and it gives me more stitching brutality on the back. Uh, once again, I'm, I'm so belt and braces when it comes to design and... Uh, the actual construction of anything, I'd, I'd much rather have you know, 22 stitches than 14. So I, that's the that's how much stitching is holding the back on. Um, double row lock stitch. Um, you got a knife on the side, and you don't want anything coming out of it. So you know the welt is held in position with double row. Um, it's growing in popularity, there's, there's a few others just starting up for it, but uh, I like to think that, you know, my little addition to the bushcraft image as it were, double row, yeah, nice. Um, you wanted a uh, gunslinger look, so I've, I've got that sort of warning effect. On the, the way I've done the die and I've applied it. Um, well, again, all the edges are beveled, slicked, edge coated, <laughs> overkill. I won't say how long this one's took me. But um, it's all about trying, you know, you don't want anything going out that's not pretty damn as good as I can get it. So, you know, I've, I've slick in. It's just literally just like six, six. taking me time on it, uh, stitching, taking my time on it. Um, there are other areas that um, I'm now going to say that I, I've put into my sheaths that I haven't done before. Um, this little piece here, where it goes down inside, I actually slick the inside of a welt down in here, and I edge coat. The drain hole on the inside, the sheaf on the interior is completely dyed right the way through. This sheaf on the interior is uh, neat's footed right the way through. Got it here on a little flagon. Um, then I canoe wax it, and now I put an exterior coat on, which is um, this one here, professional finish. Uh, I've still got a fair amount left, so that, that's the next thing I'll be ordering. Um, uh, and then I, I use another one that's, that's a normal in one, which is an actual finish. <coughs> Put it on as well. So as far as weatherproofing, I, I, I can't really put much more on it other than coats upon coats upon coats upon coats. Um, I, I had a few test pieces just using canoe wax, and I wasn't really happy with it. The water beads up, and it marks the the finish. So the the wax is in there just to sort of just add something to it. Um, but then I've actually put an exterior grade sort of waterproofy finish on it. Um, so all the edges are beveled and slicked. So there's no raw edges on any of it. Um, it's lock stitched. I'm going to go up and then back on myself three and four. And then flamed it and then with my little like that so I'm dressing the, the thread back down again while it's still soft um, the leather carving obviously designed to fit that sheaf so obviously the artwork had to be sized up sized down rationalized to some degree in order that it would it would blend with what I'm doing but I'm quite happy with it I think it's quite a distinctive sharp sort of design that can be seen um, I didn't go crazy on the branding so I've just got a tiny little I just got my little white markers, my 
maker's mark on the side there. Um, it's just giving something on the belt that it's not emblazoned Wessex blades everywhere. I think it's quite discreet. Um, anyway, the knife itself, it's, uh, it's got a walnut set of scales on it. Really even grain on. Some nice dark streaks. Um, the brass is, is getting its own patina already because this has been on the go on and off for this moves now. Four, four and a half weeks, and the brass is starting to sort of age. So I quite like the, the golden hue that's coming out of this is going into the walnut, really sweet. Um, red liners. That's one of the sharpest logos I've got. Uh, I sort of changed the way I'm, uh, the timing and the duration of the, of the plunges of the of the etcher mark. I got to play with, um, but it's, it's sweet. So thanks to Dell for the blank, and, it, and it's put me on to, to getting a a nice outcome for a bushcraft type blade. And again, steel's 52100. I don't use. 01 most of my stuff but this one this one's 01 so well, it's bathed in oil um, and, um, and inside the sheath is actually I sprayed WD and, and 3 and 1 in there so it's, it's when it gets warm um, you will actually get a bit of a, a bloom of oil onto the blade and even to stop it rusting um, but yeah I mean it's waterproof right away through so you want to wipe it out of a sponge and then, and then pfft, like that, or some uh, like a waxy thing on the on your steel. So that should be good to go. Um, I like to think that my sheaves now are just that little bit above what the average clone lore knife would be. Um, just gradually moving forward. Um, yeah, so, so I've gone with inch and a quarter on there now. Double row stitching. It's just just belt and braces. It is you know when when you consider someone's they're not they're not paying fifty pounds for this they're paying you know in the region of hundred two hundred pounds for for a product. You really want the sheath to reflect it in as many ways as you can and sort of even up the the difference in investment that's been between the blade and the sheath. Um, you know, it's like having a really nice car and putting a 900 three cylinder engine in it. It's, it's not, it just doesn't work in my head. So, um, I think it's a nice, I think it's a balanced um, union of knife and sheath. And uh, just looking forward to moving forward in the next sort of two weeks. Um, my plan is because I've got Funky's meat next weekend, I've got a week and a bit. Um, obviously, Mitchell's home, so we're trying to. I was trying to spend time with Mitch, um, but looking at the calendar, I've got just over just over a week. Um, so what I'm going to do, if people could bear with me on orders, um, I can accept maybe five more orders before I close my books again. Um, but for the funky meat, what I want to do is get some knives up to sell. Um, and quite what I'm going to do, yeah, I haven't quite decided, but I'm probably going to do. I'm thinking of doing jackals, which is a survivor knife, um, rather than totally bushcraft, because uh, it's a prepper meat as opposed to a wilderness gathering, if that makes sense. So I, uh, you know, I can leave your comments at the end of it. If anybody's going and they actually really want uh, something specific, uh, I think today would be a good idea um, with the vid up. If you're definitely going and you're really interested in something for me to bring completed. Um, leave a comment on it because it would give me a, a, an indication of what direction to go over the next week to get something finished for uh, the funky meat. Um, my limiting thing is I take so long on the sheath. Um, I know Sandy was able to do um, sort of four in a week. There's no way in our world I can get four completed in a week. I, I, I'll be able to get three done. Um, quite what three I'm going to do is I'll leave it to the suggestion boxes um, but you know I don't really want to go on three Merlins because you know I'm trying to turn the time into into getting a decent return um, 
So it, it, if I get people banging on about Dane Laws, then I'll do Dane Laws. But I've got this Survivor Knife Jackal. Um, as I say, the uh, it's a prep for me. It's sort of like Survivor list -y. So um, I'll leave you to leave your comments um, at the bottom as to if anybody was interested in anything that I'll have there. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with this one. Really so this one's Robert. And I'll see you on the next vid. And uh, it'll be work in progresses on the types I'm going to get ready for Funky and also on that Funkies. So thanks for joining me again. Scott from Wessex Blades out.